In this video, we get started with making a swing bike. A swing bike is like a regular bike, but it's got a joint at the seat tube. This allows the bike to be maneuvered a lot tighter corners, and uh, it's just kind of for goofing around. I've never ridden one. I assume that they look pretty fun, but I've never ridden one, and I decided I'd try to make one and see how it went. These are the two discarded bikes I'm going to make my swing bike from. I wanted a steel frame because I'm a little bit better at welding steel than aluminum at this point. Also, I wanted a frame uh, on the second bike where it was a full suspension with the pedals part of the rear triangle. Having the pedals as part of the rear triangle is going to simplify the build in the, uh, in the last section. I'm starting off by cutting off the parts that I'm going to need. On the red bike, I'm going to need the top tube and the steer, uh, the front headset, but nothing else. Cutting off the shock turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I expected. Sooner or later, every bike project requires a hammer. I'm making this cut right in front of a big gusset. The control cables on this bike for the brakes and the derailleurs are pretty shot, so I'm not even bothering to try to save them. I'm just cutting them right off. And now taking the down tube off. And I've got the part I need. Had to pull the crank on the black bike to make the cut where I needed. But since the rear triangle was held to the front of the bike with just the pivots and the shock, this was really a great bike for the project. But here's the rear triangle of the bike with the pedals and the whole drivetrain uh, still intact. This is roughly the configuration that the bike's going to be in when we're done. Here I'm cutting off the mount for the seat post. Because of the way the black bike was manufactured, I'm going to need a lot more cuts. I'm going to need the head tube and a long straight pipe. Our first welding would be to put this whole part together. But first, I need to clean up all the pieces of tube and brackets left on the, on the bike parts. What seems to work is to cut at the weld uh, away from the tube so as not to cut into the tube that we're still wanting to preserve. Not too close. A little bit of grinding afterwards and we'll clean it up, but not so far as that we're grinding forever either. And then grinding everything smooth. I went through here, but I'll be able to weld that shut. The rest of the parts look pretty good, I think. In the next video, we're going to start welding all these parts together 
and see if we can put a swing bike together. Thanks for watching.